Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is going to be a Forex quick look at the euro versus U.S. dollars. We head toward the end of the trading week and into the new trading week. So let's get started. Well, let's uh, start by looking at the uh, daily chart. And when, when you look at the uh, daily chart in uh, trading this week, the market started the week of moving to the upside. And that move to the upside got above this level right here, which was at the 1.0635 area. Uh, the price, uh, the uh, low price uh, right through here, which was uh, the low going back to the end of May, uh, was uh, reached uh, on in here in September uh, and held support uh, through here, but then fell below that level and uh, started its move to the downside. We came back to that area right through here and fell off again. And in, uh, later in the uh, this week or this start of this week, we price moved above those levels, and that should have sent the price higher, but it didn't uh, didn't last for long. The price. After one close above that level, the next day we, we, we made a new high and then rotated back to the downside. In the process, uh, we fell back below the 38.2% retracement at 1.06106. Uh, and uh, you can see that on Wednesday, the high price uh, for the day came up right to that level and found resistance sellers. In trading here today, we came up short of that level and rotated back to the downside. So remember that 1.06106 level. Uh, also remember the 35 level as we go back to our hourly chart. So here we are on the hourly chart and uh, the 1.0610 uh, uh, level comes in between this swing area right here. We've talked about that level a uh, for a while here and uh, this is where it all starts. It goes back in time to September. We had lows here and uh, then highs through here. It got a little messy through here, but use, use that level area as uh, some resistance. And again, uh, more recently here, and uh, and uh, right here and here before moving to the upside and then we broke below it and used that level uh, before moving to the downside here so uh, got up uh, you know uh, near it uh, right through here found uh, willing sellers uh, and uh, then in trading here today we um, moved you know, close to the 106 level but uh, found willing sellers against that level so uh, staying below this area is going to be uh, key the 106.35 uh, level, uh, which I uh, spoke about too on the daily chart, really is uh, somewhere in between the 106.31 and 39 level. There was uh, little moves above it and below it. You can see the importance of that level going back in time as well through here, here. So that 106.35 level is up here. And those levels will be targets on the top side if the bias can move back uh, to the upside, that is get above uh, the uh, 100 uh, or the 200 and then the 100 hour moving average is the green and blue lines right through here if they can do that uh, then we have the potential to move higher note that in trading here today we did try to get above those levels and also above the 50 percent retracement of this move up from the last low to the high price here but we failed uh, couldn't do it couldn't keep that momentum going and we uh, rotated back to the downside in the afternoon trading here so the uh, sellers are uh, trying to uh, take uh, or, or keeping more control in the uh, euro versus US dollar on the uh, hourly chart and also on the daily chart as well. So uh, in uh, uh, in the process, uh, uh, currently we are back testing this uh, this uh, swing area right through here, which was last Friday's lows, lows and then Wednesday's lows. We broke through that level, uh, moving our way down to this low area right through here in trading. Uh, these were the lows for the week. And we found uh, support buyers against that. So on the downside, uh, what we're uh, going to be hoping for, uh, if the price can remain below the uh, the two moving averages here, is a rotation down toward this uh, swing area through here. And then uh, we have the potential to move toward these lows right through here, which, uh, uh, again, a number of different times that the price uh, either found support or resistance here. And they, they this area comes ahead of the extremes. Uh, for the month of October, which reached on down toward the 104.45 level. So um, uh, what um, what I'm seeing uh, technically is uh, that the buyers had their shot today. They missed uh, staying below the 100 and 200 hour moving average will keep the sellers more in control. If it does move above those levels and look for the 106.10 level and the 106.35 ish type area, these two yellow areas, that would be the uh, targets to get to and through to increase the bullish bias. Absent that, and the sellers are more in control with 105.22 to 105.31 than the 104.83 to 105 level area, area as the next key targets on the downside. So there you have it, a, a end of week look at the euro versus US dollar. A pretty 
um, you know, up and down uh, type of week in trading here today, but uh, gets ending the week off uh, on a negative uh, bias front. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.